Alrighty. I got it pressed in there. Oh jeez. I gotta stop putting this on so tight. Let's see if I can open her up. There we go. I didn't want it to leak, I guess. Although it shouldn't spill, right? <laughs> well, I got it in there. Uh, I think that little vent hole I drilled, I think it's probably too big. I'm not sure what size I use a 16th, but I would, if anybody else builds one of these, I would make it really tiny. Because thinking about it, that's probably actually bigger than what's in the, uh, uh, you know, the bottle that it was coming out of. But, I think other than that, like if you, I mean, you can pretty much tip it over here. And it's not spilling, there's a little bit still sits in that tube. I don't want to pour it out on the concrete here, but anyway, I mean, you can see that's that's pretty much 90 degrees right there. So that works pretty good. And I think if you knocked it over, you could pick it up before, you know, you lost the whole thing. If this was just an open can of oil, it would be out instantly. Oh, yeah. We're down in the shade, so. Yeah, find anybody. I don't know if Sterno comes in a can that's just like this or not. But, uh. That might be something worthwhile investigating if you know if you know anybody that does catering and stuff. They use those sternos. I mean, they just every uh, they put them on chafing dishes. You know, the little pans they use to keep food hot. When they're done with them, I mean, they just gotta throw it away. So, if anybody knows anybody that uses fancy heat, it pretty much looks like one of those things for the chafing dishes. I might look them up and see if I can find out any information about them. Anyway, so. We'll call that another, you know, shop-built gizmo. All right, that's it for today.